Are you a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ? Are you building a strong prayer life? Thinking back over the last few weeks, the last couple of months, is your prayer life stronger now than it was a month ago? Six months ago? Are you building your prayer life? Maybe you say, Dave, I don't really even have a prayer life. Well, I'm Dave Early, and I'm here to help you grow as a disciple and a disciple maker of the Lord Jesus. And it's required of Jesus' disciples to be people of prayer. So today I want to talk to you about how to build your prayer life. This is what I share with people. This is what helps me. I know that if I have these basics, I at least have the foundation to begin growing in my prayer life. I suggest you set aside some prayer times or prayer time each day when you meet with God. The first Christians in the book of Acts, they, they gave themselves to the prayers. And they were talking about praying three times a day in the temple. At nine o'clock, noon, three in the afternoon, they would go to the temple, the sacrifice would be made, they felt like the door was open, uh, sins were, were forgiven, the door was open, they could get to God, and so they prayed. Sometimes individually, sometimes corporately, but they were involved in prayer. If they could not make it all three times to the temple, they would pray on their own some of those times, but they gave themselves to prayer. You need to set aside a time or times when you pray. It can be first thing in the morning, it could be in the morning break, it could be over noon, it could be in the afternoon, it could be uh, uh, your evening uh, or late in the evening. You need to set aside a time or times when you pray every day. When's your time to pray? When's your appointment with God? That's the question. Second, you need to have a place. It's very helpful to have a place where you pray. We maybe I have a little notebook where I record my request. I record answers. I, I have a, a record of what God's doing. It, it's so helpful. I got my Bible there, a pen there, a notebook there. I know when I go to that place. That's the place I go and I pray. It's very helpful. I, I, my prayer place has been walking around the neighborhood because my kids would get, get up early. When I would get, try to get up early, they, they would I have one of them that would get up whatever time I got up. And I just couldn't get quiet time at home. So I would walk around the neighborhood and pray for my neighbors and pray through my requests. I, I, my prayer time has been in my office at work, my office at home, over the lunch hour. My place has been in my car on my way to work, uh, at my desk at work, it, 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 in the living room with my wife at night, in the bed at night. I don't know where your place is or where your places are, but you just need. It's very helpful to have a place or places where you feel most comfortable to pray. It could be a place where you have your list, you pray request. I suggest that you have three, five, seven things that that are high priorities for you right now in this time in your life, and you ask God about those things every day or maybe several times a day. You keep bringing them to God. You make them a matter of prayer until God does something in regard to those things. Keep, keep track of your request. I, I have, I'm a pastor of a large church. I can't keep up with everybody's needs every day. But when I get a request, I try to pray for it. When I'm talking to somebody and I'm dealing with them, I try to pray for them. And, and then I have certain things I pray for on certain days. I have a list about my family. I have a list about my neighbors. I have a list about needs in my church. And I pray for those maybe at, at a particular prayer time during the day. But I, I have requests that I, I'm working on, I'm praying about, I'm bringing to God, and I'm seeing God give answers. So you have a time, you have a place, you have a request, and you have a plan. It's helpful to have a plan. When I first tried to build a prayer life, I was a brand new Christian. They said you need to pray an hour a day. I had no idea how to do that. I tried to do that. I had prayed kind of uh, and sang and worshiped and prayed for about a half an hour before. But but where I was at, I really couldn't uh, sing or, or pray out loud. It was uh, the only place I could get alone. It's still, I couldn't be loud. I tried to learn to pray um, more quietly, but it, at, to pray a whole hour and to do it effectively and to c cover the major aspects of prayer, I found that I needed a plan. Jesus kind of gave us a plan when he gave us the Lord's Prayer, the Disciples' Prayer, 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Give us this day our daily bread. He's giving us a, an outline for prayer. Sometimes that's a little hard to, 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 to follow all that. What I do, I pray tacos every day. I found these are the major components that I need to make sure I'm praying about every day. The acrostic is tacos. I pray thanks, adoration, confession. I pray for others. I pray for myself. I pray thanksgiving every day. I enter his gates with thanksgiving. God, I want to thank you for. And I think of the things that have happened this week, uh, th in the last 24 hours that I'm thankful for. God, I thank you for this and this and this and this. And then I enter his gates with praise, adoration. God, I praise you because you are my redeemer. You're the great creator. You're the, the shepherd. You're the provider. You're the, uh, the guide. You're the... You're the power source. Whatever I need, I'm praising God because he is what, what I need, what my family needs, what my ministry needs. And then I confess. God, I acknowledge my struggle with. I, I'm being tempted in this area. God, I, I confess. I, I'm, I'm falling in this area. God, I confess. I, I, I need your help to have victory in this area of my life. And then you pray for others. Pray for lost people. Is, is, I pray for lost people, new Christians, people I'm discipling. I pray for ministries. I pray for others. And then I pray for myself. God, I need your help with, I need your help today. I, with this and this and this, this is what I got to do today. God, I need your help with this and this and this. This is what I'm struggling with today. And so I pray tacos every day. I find if you can answer these questions, and really put your heart into it, you have a foundation for building a powerful prayer life. And disciples have powerful prayer lives. Uh, I'm Dave Early. I hope this teaching is helpful to you. You can follow us on Facebook or YouTube. Our goal is very simple. We want to help you be a disciple of Jesus Christ. We want to help you make disciples of Jesus Christ.